Okay, now over to Tim in the Mastercraft kitchen, and you're making a quiche. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> That's the most hair I've seen you yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The your... old receding hairlines are getting hidden well today. It's like channeling your inner Westie there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice wee mullet there. Um, yeah, I thought I'd stick with the pastry theme today, Mel, and uh, go with a quiche. What better way to, uh, to welcome in the middle of the week than with some kale and a little bit of bacon? But first and foremost, I've got to get into it. And I've lightly greased a, uh, a baking dish here. And I've got some nice puff pastry. And I'm just going to line this dish. Because we're going to blind bake, as we did yesterday. And we're going to whack it in the oven for about half an hour. And what that does is it, uh, it cooks the pastry. Oh, I'm really making a real mess. How did you get that plastic on the back of the pastry? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of oh, I made this pastry myself, actually, Mike. Yeah, something you whipped up yeah. earlier. <laughs> the magic of TV, hey? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time creating a nice wee uh, pastry lining in this dish. We're going to fill it with some weights and bake it in the oven for about half an hour. And then uh, I'm going to prep some onions, some bacon, and I'll catch up with you again soon. In the Mastercraft kitchen, and Tim, today we are doing bacon and kale quiche, which is a great way, I guess, to get some greens into the kids, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, sneak some in there without them even realising. That's, that's right, it's a superfood kale. <laughs> we'll talk more about that in just a minute. So what have we done? We've blind baked the pastry. Yeah, so that's been baked in the oven for half an hour with some weights, which keeps the bottom of the pastry down. Mm -hmm. You'll see that it's nice and puffed up and a little bit golden around the edges. Uh, I'm just going to whack on the bacon and the onion, and we're just going to grill that a little bit, brown nice. it slightly. Why did you use flaky pastry? Could you use something else? Yeah, I suppose you could use the short crust pastry, pastry which yep. is a little bit thicker. Uh, it just it means it's a little bit more dense. Oh. If you prefer it more dense, then, then use more dense. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to get you to make the filling. Okay, That's great. Right. And uh, talking about child obesity, making wise choices, I'm using thickened cream, <laughs> uh, which is probably not great. But Could, um, could you use anything else? Yeah. I s I suppose you could probably use something like cream fraiche okay, uh, if you yep. wanted to, it bakes all right. It's something like milk wouldn't set, uh, and so, yeah, you need to use something it's a little, little bit thicker. Thick. Yeah, yep. okay, all right, cool. So you whack that in there. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to get you to crack some eggs. Yeah, well done. Um, and then uh, and then you're just going to crack some eggs. Now, a wee tip, don't crack an egg. Is it all right? Yeah, it's good. Cool. <laughs> don't uh, crack an egg. Don't crack an egg on an edge, because that's when you'll get the little bits of shell inside the actual egg. If you crack it on flat surface, all right, and then you and you get no little bits. Now look at that. There you go. That's a good little tip, isn't it? Okay, cool. So how many eggs do you want in this? Uh, all five. All please. five. Okay, and then you're cool. going to whisk it. Okay. And combine it, and I'll get on to cooking this. Nice work. So we all love a good kale and bacon quiche. Kale's are an incredible superfood at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Originally a stock food. Well, that's what it was when I was growing up. Uh, but now people are starting to get into it and uh, it's in smoothies, it's in salads, it's in everything at the moment. Uh, so I thought we'd whack a little bit on top. Actually what we're going to do while that's cooking... It's alright, it's yeah. fine, nothing happened. <laughs> I missed that. No, there's no shells in there. Yeah, good. Close though. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it, quite fascinating because, you know, as you said, it was a stock food and, um, you know, just grew in paddocks and sheep used to eat it and cows used to eat it. Um, and I reckon until some hipster kind of blended it into a smoothie in Ponsonby, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Everyone would say, oh, kale. Yeah. Um, but it is good. It's got full of nutrients and one yeah. of the lowest calorie foods you can eat, actually. Well, you're a salesman, aren't you? <laughs> um, so we've just got some kale there. We're yep. going to toss in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Right. And some lemon juice. So this is the juice of a lemon. Mm -hmm. and we'll throw most of it in there. And I'm just going to toss that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that on top of our quiche. And so with that, because of the oil and things on top of that, yeah. once it sits on top of the quiche and it bakes, it's actually going to go crispy oh, uh, nice. and provide us a little bit of texture. A little bit of crunch? Uh, yeah. Everyone now, loves a little bit of texture, right? Now, what am I doing here? Because I'm scared that I'm mucking this up. No, no. So what you want to do, yeah, it looks a bit funny right now, but yeah. if you keep whisking it, you oh, want okay. to combine it. So you put a bit of effort into yeah. it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> actually do some work. Yeah, I can. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, Three days and he knows me very well, doesn't he? No, but that's good. You keep me moving along. Yeah, I'll keep you moving on. Good. Starting to look like scrambled eggs here, actually. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep going and it'll come nice and golden and, and a consistent colour. Okay. And then basically all we're going to do is we're going to whack the bacon, the onion, and we've got some feta cheese here, which I'm going to crumble. Yum. And, uh, and we're going to put that in the base. We're going to pour the egg mixture over top. Top it with kale, whack it in the oven for half an hour. Nice. And uh, and that's when we'll get to eat it. Well, this is quite a um, quick meal to produce. Yeah, abso isn't it? yeah. absolutely. Uh, yes, the the blind baking and things like that does take a while, but right. actually the hands-on 
time is very minimal. So it's, it's perfect for the middle of the week. Nice work. Okay, so this is, you're right, this is looking much better yeah. now. How are you going? You're good, building up a sweat as usual, <laughs> but that's all right. Oh no, okay, look, no, so you're just going to get all those lumps out, you want a that's nice it. fine texture. That's it. And then what all you're going to do, I'm just going to wipe my hands, find some okay. to do that. That's I think all right. something in here. You've got your feta in the pastry, uh, yep. onions and bacon are cooking. All the recipes, by the way, if you want, are at thecafe.co.nz. So if you'd like to find out anything, then you can just go there. We're going to whack a in a bit, bit of salt and pepper. Okay, cool. Oh, and then we're sugar. Gonna... And we're going to pour this all in, and we'll come back a little later on and finish this up. Can't wait to try it at the end of the show. Now over to our Master Chef winner, Tim, who is finishing up that delicious quiche. Yeah, thank you, Ooh. Mel. So I've baked it all. It all got thrown in there and then uh, and baked for half an hour, and, and we're good to go. So I'll cut it up and bring it over. All good. Sounds man. good. It smells incredible, it's doesn't it? It's a tiny thank knife you. you're using. Yeah. <laughs> a small <laughs> knife you can find. <laughs> Thought I'd give myself a bit of a challenge. <laughs> nice work. So if you missed it and you want any recipes, thecafe.co.nz, you can check it out. I really like the little tip on the kale as well to make it crunchy. So thanks for that, Tim. What did you do? He just put a little bit of oil on it, oh, nice. so it crisped it up like kale oh, chips. I've destroyed it. It's all right. Presentation not important from my, yeah, myself. Oh, oh. oh, so close! Oh, look so at that. close! So close! It's all going to look the same in my belly. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> suppose we'll get away with it, won't we? Yeah, we will. We'll get away yeah, with it. Nice it's work. a garnish on top of that. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, well, tomorrow I'm doing Italian baked chicken with couscous. <laughs> <laughs>